Hello everyone, I am Vales, and welcome back to another KS, actually no, a KSA video. Kitten Space Agency, which is supposed to be the spiritual successor to KSP, after KSP2 went ahead and took a giant... Except, of course, for KSP2's soundtrack, which was really the only beautiful thing that came out of that game. Now, what's interesting about the developers in the new Kitten Space Agency game that they're working on is that they're actually bringing on board all of the original uh, developers from the core KSP projects, along with well-known modders such as Blackrack. And from what, from what I understand, all of the game engines weren't cut out to do this type of game. They tried Unreal, they tried Unity, but it just wasn't working for them so they said fluff it we'll make our own damn engine and they ended up from what i understand they ended up calling it brutal the brutal game engine and from what i can tell they're also working with nasa and jpl to make sure a lot of these planets are accurate this is not the kerbal system that we all know this is going to be a replica of our solar system now whether or not it's a true replica when it comes to size i don't know i kind of hope it is because i really loved the mods that were with KSP when it came to real solar system. I really did love the whole aspect of real fuels and all that jazz. Was it more complicated than just a normal KSP game? Sure, because you had to worry about different types of fuels and chemicals and speed and how much to bring and all this other good stuff. And it wasn't really like the original KSP game as in ease of getting into orbit because this was, you know, realistic. But once you did a few rocket launches and you figured out all the numbers, getting into orbit wasn't all that half hard or bad you know what i mean it was more fun so i'm really hoping that the system itself is actually you know a real solar system size from what i can tell there are a lot of flat spots on the ground which means ease of building colonies on other worlds because if it's one thing that Kerbal space program kind of failed at was giving the player flat spots to build anything on any planet let alone moon okay well you had minmus right that had a bunch of flat spots but that's like one percent if and I'm sure there are other moons out there that had flat spots on them. Uh, I just can't, for the life of me, think of one right now. I think there's a moon around Jewel that's a lot like Minmus. But basically, that's it. So if I wanted to go to Duna in KSP, good luck finding a flat spot. Sure, we could go ahead and put out all kinds of different satellite photos and triangulate the this and that and do the math here, math there, and we just might find a, a spot that's big enough to sit on, but that's it. It. From what I'm getting from KSA or Kitten Space Agency is that it looks like there's plenty of flat spots all over the place. I don't have to do all that extra work. As long as I don't land on a mountainside, I'm good. So things like building colonies and whatnot will actually be rather nice for a change. Now, what I would find incredibly, incredibly cool is if the terrain was adaptive. What I mean by that is if you need to dig a, like you could dig a hole. Something along the lines of like Space Engineer, we could dig a hole. So if you wanted to, you could have a base in the side of a mountain, theoretically. Not sure if it's going to go that deep, but that'd be cool if it did. But anyway, I really have high hopes for Kitten Space Agency. It looks like it's got another couple of years in the oven before it's, you know, able to be playable in any, any way, which, you know, but which is fine with me because I just want, I just want a good game. I don't want them to release it and nothing works like some other game that was released early. But let me know what you guys think. If there's any information that's extra that I didn't cover here, go ahead and put it in the comments below for others to read. But that's it for me today. Hope everybody in the States yesterday had a great Thanksgiving. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.